going to be just a casual, like when you wear t-shirts and stuff like that kind of makeup look. Um, very simple, very easy to do. Um, and all these products you can actually find at the drugstore. I think all of my products are drugstore. Minus one. The rest of them are drugstore. So, um, the one that's not is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, you can also find, like, these NYX Jumbo Pencils. These are really good for eye bases. Or NYX also has a eyeshadow base. This one's in white. I don't particularly like this, though. Unless I'm doing really bright colors, I don't really use this one. Um, because it actually makes my skin a little more pale. Like, you can, the, the white shows up. It's not very opaque, so... We're just going to take a little bit of that Hello. and we're going to put that on each of the eyes Hello. all the way up to the brow bone. Hello. What's Elmo doing? You're my son talking. He's getting ready for school. I think he wants to take Elmo with him. Press the button. He's silly. Alright, now that we've got that on. We're going to go in. You can use any kind of brown eyeshadow, whatever matches your skin tone. For me, it's called Bare My Soul by NYX. You will see me use this a lot in my tutorials. It's one of my favorite um, browns, I guess you could say. We're just going to, you're going to find your crease, kind of that, that socket, that dip right there, and you're just going to run that along that crease. You can pull your eye a little bit if you're seeing that you're making lines that it's kind of pulling along and you're just going to a little scary at first. You can pack as little or as much as you want. I just kind of do a standard. And then you can run it all right here a long kind of like a V shape on the outer corner if you want to then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow it's just a white one I don't know what it is the labels off I need to go find it again and I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush which is what I'm gonna be blending out but I'm gonna run this along my brow bone real quick which is just that bone that's right there that's your brow bone okay now I'm gonna wipe the brush off we're just gonna go in and start sweeping Uses that. You can pull it down the lid a little if you want to, if you want to give a little color to your lid. You can also put a shimmery color there. I usually don't. I just kind of sweep this back and forth and blend it out until I get it where I want it to blend. Zoom in just a little bit. Might help if you can see a little better. Then I'm going to go with my cream eyeliner. Um, you can use black or brown. I'm actually going to use my black one today because I very rarely use my black eyeshadow or my black um, e.l.f. cream eyeliner. As you can see, it's only been used like a handful of times. I just, I don't really get the black one. I use my brown one more than anything. And then I'm just gonna go in with an angled, um, this is also an e.l.f. brush, it's an angled eyeliner brush, and the tip just looks like this. And we're just going to dip that right into the eyeliner, like that. I'm going to start here at the edge. I'm just going to close my eye. I kind of tip my head to the side a little bit because I can't do it like this. And we're just going to run that along. Short strokes, long strokes. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to run that along our lashes. And this is super, super creamy eyeliner like beyond creamy. It's amazing how creamy this stuff is. And you can do it as thick or as thin as you like. That's a little thick for me, but I'm gonna do the other one first and then I'll, I'll thin it out a little. It's a lot creamier than my brown. I mean, my brown must be drying out. It's fine. You can hang your mouth up when you do this, I do. Someone told me the other day that automatically when you look up, your mouth automatically opens.
I know it's just a weird fact, but I was just thinking about that. Somebody told me that the other day. Oh, by the way, when you look up, your mouth, like, automatically falls open. And I thought, I wonder if that's true. But if you're thinking about it, you're going to try and keep your mouth closed. So really, who thought of that? I don't know. I know it's kind of a random thing to think about. I'm just going to go back. This is just a, a baby wipe. I turned my light on. Did you turn your light on? Oh, good job. And I'm just going to lightly kind of wipe right here. And this stuff, it sets pretty quick. Still a little thick. So, what you do to fix that is you take a Q tip. And I actually have these wooden ones because they're a little smaller than your standard. I got these off eBay. So, I mean, you can see this is your standard. And this is your wood one. So, they're a little bit smaller, cotton wise. And you're just going to take your eye makeup remover. I have Mary Kate's eye makeup remover. I love the Clinique, although I get my Mary Kay one. It's like 13 bucks for this big bottle, and it lasts you forever. And it has this little, like, um, really small tip on there. So you don't have to get a bunch of ones. You can take this and just run this along. Did you turn your light off? Okay. I turned my on. Oh, you turned it on? Okay, go turn it off, though. It's daytime. We don't need the lights on. We don't need the lights on. And not in the daytime, we don't. Not daytime. Go turn it off. No. Of course not. We're in the no stage. Okay, so we're just going to go right back with that black eyeliner. Just dip it one more time and just kind of clean... Line up a little. Easy as that. There we go. Uh, this is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is in the color medium. I'm actually supposed to get an ash one in the mail today because the ash they don't sell in stores. They only sell it in on the website. And so I got on the website about a week ago and ordered an ash because I'm curious to see how it works so I just take short little strokes with that and just run it along my brows just kind of fill in wherever they're a little spares spares, spares, whatever you call it so, so you can see a huge difference now this eye looks way better, it looks more complete with this and then again, we're just going to do the same thing over here, just short, short strokes. I got my mama's eyebrows, which is fine, because I, my mom is really pretty. I look a lot like her. Like, I'm literally a spitting image of her. It's creepy sometimes. But you look at me and my mom together now, and you can see so much of her in me. Okay. And surprisingly, they dried really fast, but I think it's because I ran. I had to wash somebody's hair right after I put one on, so I ran water over it real quick. And they dry almost instantly. So this is just a black eyeliner. This is by Avon. It's just the black ultra luxury eyeliner. It's a very, very creamy eyeliner. And it's very good for the waterline. It's very pigmented on my waterline, and it will stay all day. It doesn't smudge too bad. So we're in a tight line and we're in a water line, so. He's being so good right now playing in this room. So proud of him. Okay, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow. It's just a clear gloss. You can get these. I know Maybelline makes one that's actually really good. Um, Ardell has one. I hate it. Ardell's does not work. I bought a crap ton of them because they were clearanced out. That's probably why they were clearanced out is because they suck. So, but anyways, I just put that on. Then I take my eyelash curler, which is of course an elf one. Just their standard spring one. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. Okay. 
And then I'm going to use my, this is like an e.l.f. video today it seems like. Um, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara. I love the brush on this. It's huge. Look at that. That's a big old brush. Okay. We're just going to go from base to ends. We're going to wiggle and spin like always. Okay. It's very, very good. And we just got a little bit right there. I'm just gonna. All right. So this is the finished eye look. It is so super simple, so super easy. It just gives you a little bit more definition when you've got that brown in there. But that's it. And I'm just gonna wear my clear um, Co Bigelow Rose Sab. I may put a little bit of a red color in there, like a, a tint. But this is usually all I ever do, so that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, thumbs them up, and I will do more like this where it's just the eyes. I usually do the full get ready with me, but um, 